Yum. sleeping bag here, my pajamas there, I'm going to grab my long underwear so I have it handy, and I just need to wash a few more dishes, but that'll be with cold water. I was going to get started at 10 and wanted my fire roaring, but that hasn't happened yet. I think we're going to spend the afternoon in the garage. Keep the cold out, okay? Where's Tiger? Where's Tiger? Where's Tiger? Any idea? Here's some more of your breakfast.
exciting day, but you don't get to be in here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Say hi to everybody. Say hi. Say hi. Your feet are cold. Yes. Yes, your feet are cold. Okay. Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's like getting ready for company, you know. <laughs> I just felt like I had to do those last bit of dishes and get everything so-so. And I wanted to, I'm glad I started later because I wanted to give the kitties a chance to be outside both days, you see. Obviously, I'm doing this challenge at my own convenience. You know, when you have a power outage, it, they don't send you an email and say, would it be all right if we shut all the power down at 11 o'clock? I know, I know, I know, I know. But I just kind of wanted to run through the exercise and see how much work it takes to get organized enough to be able to just sit back. And now I can just sit back for a little while. I have been well, I made three videos. I shot three video. I shot and edited one video, plus shot two more videos yesterday, and then uh, this morning I got a. Oh, I heard a motor. That's my refrigerator. I'm not turning it off. I'm just not opening it. I'm pretending like it's off. So I actually haven't figured out. What I'm having for dinner, I got out chili, and I have that as an option. I've got at least two servings in there <laughs> with some grated cheese. So I could do something easy and just set up a grill in there and heat that up. That's ready to go. And I'm going to make cornbread in there somehow. So... <laughs> The only motor I should hear today is that refrigerator. My freezers outside are, are still plugged in, obviously. But everything else is off. And that's the way it's going to stay. I'm going to have a very quiet day. The only thing I have access to is my laptop and my cell phone. And I've locked, oh, I can't lock the kitty out. The litter box is in there. Oh shoot, that won't do. Okay. All that I've shot this morning is just getting ready to launch. And I've launched, I've got the fire burning, and I'm gonna wait till I get some good coals, and then I'm going to start contemplating <laughs> cooking in there. Now the chili is going in to be heated. Wow. Okay, I'm giving you a look back in there. That's the cornbread in the back. 
and the chili in the front. That's blue cornmeal cornbread. Mm, not hot yet. That cornbread looks about done. And that is sizzling or <laughs> simmering. Let's eat. That is beyond done. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's hard. <laughs> and burned. That's, that's hot. Okay, well, gotta learn, right? I think that was almost done before it got in there. Yeah, I think what happened is the outside cooked so much fat. Yeah, look at that. Some people like their cornbread really hard, but, you know, not me. It's too hard to really... Ow. Just break off a piece. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. Wow. First time I've ever cooked anything in there. This is a first. I gotta get some pee on that right away. It's going to be hard to shake that though. Maybe I'll just see if it, if it pops without shaking it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Falcon. Ow. No, you see tigers. Don't knock it out of my hand. That sun is bright coming in the window there. Kind of burned on top. Shh. 
shoot. Okay. Maybe it won't burn on the top with this here. Okay. I confess I did not turn off my outside lights. You know, I just didn't want to arouse any kind of attention or suspicion or worry.
Hey, good morning everybody. Kay here on my homestead in Tennessee. And I had an interesting night. It was quiet, reflective. I went to bed early. I got a good night's sleep. Now, the temperature was much warmer. It didn't even freeze last night. So it didn't present that much of a challenge in terms of my goals, which were staying warm, cooking my food on my fireplace insert, and making sure everybody was, um, well, those are the two things. <laughs> Keeping warm and making my food. It's still dark in my house, so I'm on the porch. I am about to leave a couple of hours early because I have an opportunity to meet Michael's wife, Lila. Uh, Michael was the pastor, songwriter, urban farmer who I interviewed recently who visited and helped me and we're gonna meet over at church in Nashville. So that's, I really wanted, I feel compelled to do it even though uh, it's windy and rainy. At least it's not freezing, so that's, that's good. So anyway, uh, I look forward to sharing all my thoughts and things like that in a separate video about how things went, but in general, I'm fine. And so thanks so much for watching this initial survival challenge without power. And I hope if you joined me or if you're following along that you learned something and that you're inspired to look into how you are going to um, survive if the power goes out. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, scroll down and click all so you won't miss anything right here on my homestead. I'm Kay and I'll see you in the next video.